Welcome to the 12th MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover how to connect and calibrate a 3-axis digital magnetic compass. We will be using the LSM303 DLM sensor module, which is a digital 3-axis accelerometer and a 3-axis magnetometer. The accelerometer has three selectable ranges. Though this tutorial will only cover how to read from the magnetometer values, accelerometer functionality can be added in a similar fashion and calibration can be seen in Tutorial 2. Accelerometer and magnetometer sensor data can be combined to create a tilt-compensated compass. The magnetometer has seven magnetic field full scales, ranging from plus or minus 1.3 to 8.1 Gauss. Since the Earth's magnetic field at its surface is about 0.3 to 0.6 Gauss, we will use the default scale setting of 1.3 Gauss, or 130 microtesla. Note that nearby magnetic fields, such as high current in wires or iron in metals, can cause errors in the compass readings. The LSM303 DLM features an I2C serial interface, and though it requires 3.3 volts, we will be using the carrier board as shown, which has voltage regulators and logic shifters. Here's the pinout. Connect the input voltage and ground to the plus 5 and ground pins of the Arduino. Connect SDA to pin A4 and SCL to pin A5. Let's look at how to interface this sensor with the Arduino. First, include the I2C library with this line. Initialize the integer variables mode, magnetometer X, magnetometer Y, and magnetometer Z. The setup serial communication code first implements a character handshake with MATLAB, as shown in the first tutorial, then initializes the I2C library with an empty address, since the Arduino joins as master. Begin transmission to the slave address of the magnetic sensor, bit shifting to the right once so the address is 7 bits. Cue a write of the selected register address over I2C, then cue a write of 0 to that address to set the magnetometer continuously convert magnetic field values. End transmission to send the queued bytes. In the main loop, use this code to return magnetometer data when requested by MATLAB. Read the serial data into the variable mode and implement a switch for case M. Get magnetometer values is a function that returns magnetic field readings. Send the readings in Gauss over the serial port to the computer. After the loop, define the function get magnetometer values. Again begin transmission to the 7-bit magnetic sensor address and queue one byte to select the first data register address. After sending that byte, request 6 bytes to be returned from the magnetic sensor. This will return data from the first register address specified and then the next 5 sequential register addresses. The order of the axes returned is X, Z, Y due to the respective register addresses. For each axis, read two bytes, bit shifting the first left eight bits to form the MSB and logic OR with the second LSB to combine. The LSM303 DLM stores conversions in two registers for each axis, expressed as two's complement, whereas positive values are denoted by the most significant bit equal to zero and negative values equal to one. Last, upload the sketch to the Arduino. After programming the Arduino, let's look at how to connect and calibrate the magnetometer data in MATLAB. We'll need the setup serial function created in the first tutorial, the close serial function created in the second tutorial, and a modified version of the read ACC function shown here called read mag. The first input is out, a structure with field S, the serial communication structure created by setup serial, and mode a character value that matches the appropriate case in the Arduino switch statement. Send the character in mode to the serial port, then read the values returned in the correct format. Since magnetic field values from the sensor are 2's complement, use percent %d for signed integers. The second input to the function, calcal, is a calibration structure used to convert the readings in Gauss to degrees. Subtract the offset and divide by the gain, then map the values to the axis output. Create another function, calibrate, that inputs the sensor communication structure out 
and outputs a calibration structure, CalCal. This calibration routine is performed to find out the magnetic north and south poles of the field sensed for each axis, and to convert the raw data to degrees of the angle between each axis and the north pole. This could easily be done with a reference compass to identify north and south directions where magnetometer readings are at a maximum and minimum, respectively. If another compass is not present, this algorithm will find the max and min of measured values as the sensor is rotated. Initialize the offset and gain as zero in unity, and create temporary variables to store the max and min values for each axis. This line opens a weight bar to show the progress of the function to the user. Use the tick function to start a stopwatch timer, and enter a stop time. A while loop continuously reads the magnetometer values until the time measured by the talk function is greater than the stop time. In the while loop, compare new readings against previously stored max and min values for the xy axes, then store the result. Reset the timer and wait bar, then repeat the process for the z axis. The offset is calculated from the maximum reading. The gain is calculated by subtracting this offset from the minimum and dividing by 180. Store the offset and gain for each axis in the calco structure. A dialog box informs the user calibration is complete. Let's follow the steps in order. First set up serial communication over the COM port the Arduino is mounted. Since we are using the magnetic compass, set the value of the field mode to character M. Second, calibrate the accelerometer to convert readings scaled in Gauss to degrees relative to north. Rotate the sensor 10 seconds to find the max and min for the x and y axes. Then repeat for z. In an indoor environment, it is important to keep the sensor away from local magnetic fields. Third, read the magnetometer data from the Arduino and fourth, display it. Repeat steps 3 and 4. I have added a display command to the read mag file to show the data in Gauss and degrees. With the z-axis oriented towards north, the angle is approximately 0. Turning the sensor towards south, the angle read is approximately 180 degrees. Note that without additional sensors such as a gyrometer or accelerometer to determine absolute orientation, I am unable to tell whether I am turning east or west from the data and have a range of 180 degrees instead of a full 360. When finished, close the serial port. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.